In this video, I'll be showing you that uh, how you can add a depth change the image feature in Snapchat Lens using Snapchat Lens Studio. Uh, this is a really a simple process. You'll need a script and some images. So guys, let's get started. First of all, uh, I have downloaded uh, some wallpapers from unsplash.com. The links in the description for different kind of uh, wallpaper websites. So this, first of all, I'll delete all the objects and uh, add a orthographic camera by using screen image and I will duplicate the full frame region like I have around five images I'll make five full frame regions so these are for the five images we are going to add in the lens first of all I'll just hide the other layers and add an image using the texture in this one okay there goes the first picture then let's add all the other so after you have adjusted your images you just have to create an empty object just create an empty object and now we all uh, need a script so that uh, you can add your objects I mean the screen uh, regions uh, and use the tab feature first of all you'll need a script I have given the script uh, in the description in a link you can copy that and uh, paste it uh, as I do first of all I'll go to my desktop I saved it on my desktop there is it so it's a uh, JavaScript code as a copy it paste it using add new script just double click on the script and this panel will open I'll paste it here so as you can see the script is here and just press ctrl s to save the project and it will show input variables now go to the screen object and add component and click on script here it is add the script and select the one you made and you'll see there are object values here you will add the orthographics cameras full frame regions i'll add zero here as you can see uh, the wallpaper is on the preview now i'll add another ones as well so as you can see the wallpaper is on screen and we'll test the feature now uh, just save the project by pressing ctrl s and place it on desktop so let's see if it works yeah it works and uh, changes when I click on the preview simply so just work on the phone when you tap using your finger also you can add uh, different types of filters as well as in the previous video I told you you can use the blend mode and it really works well uh, similarly you can add any kind of text any image instead of full frame regions I uh, used imagine that you can add text or any kind of 3d effect if you have different kind of uh, objects so you can use that as well so that was it guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to drop a like and if you have any queries regarding this video you can drop them below in the comments thank you